You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to my fourth video of the day. I know that's kind of insane that I did four videos today, but hey, the first three I uploaded technically before I went to bed, so it kind of feels like this is the first of the day and that I did three yesterday. Although, if you want to get real technical, those were all uploaded, you know, past midnight, um, several of which at like 3 or 4 a.m., so it's like, yeah, it is technically my fourth video of the day. I know that's nutty, but whatever. Anyway, let's get on with it. So yeah, it's another episode of Media Opinions, and today I'll, today I'll be talking about romance and later on tragedy. There will be some overlap. Many viewers have probably noticed that I'm usually not a big fan of romance when it comes to fiction. Um, that's not to say that I don't like romance, it's just it's usually not my cup of tea. Um, and it's usually not what I go out of my way for. There are certain romances that I do enjoy. Obviously, my favorite movie is Fireworks, which, you know, is a romance, um, but it's got other elements to it. You know, it's got action, tragedy, and other things to it. But, you know, I'm not really into a lot of romance that's just traditional romance. There are other things that are unconventional romance that I'm certainly into, you know, like Future Diary, um, to an extent Elven Lead is a romance. Even Devilman has romance in it. Um, you know, there's Akira wanting to be with Miki, there's Akira getting with Miki in Devilman Saga, um, so it's like, you know, I'm not completely opposed to romance, but, uh, it's certainly not what I got in my way for, but there is a certain type of romance that I do almost always like, and that is tragic romance. I think that's partially because I'm a big sucker for tragedy, which we'll get into more in a minute. Usually when romance has a tragic payoff, I usually tend to get more into it. Uh, for instance, spoilers ahead for Clan Ad After Story, but, uh, I love Clan Ad and Clan Ad After Story. Um, very dramatic and sad show. Um, especially, you know, Nagisa dies after giving birth to Ushio, and then Tomoya misses out on the first few years of Ushio's life, only to reconnect with her and then have Ushio die. The tragedy in that makes Clan Ad easily my favorite, like, traditional slice-of-life anime. Um, I'm not usually into Slice of Life either, but there are certainly some that I do like. Clan Ad is my is one of them that I'm really into. Uh, Shin Chan is obviously one I've been getting into. If you've noticed, I bought a lot of Shin Chan stuff recent recently. You know, JoJo Part 4 has a lot of Slice of Life elements to it. Apparently, Mushi is considered Slice of Life. That's a good one. So, I mean, I, if you count that as Slice of Life, then yeah. What I'm saying is, although I'm not the biggest fan of romance, I do like tragic romance, especially because I do like tragedy. Um, obviously that's why, you know, Devil Man is one of my favorite series, because it's, you know, a tragedy. Um, most of Takeshi's movies are tragedies that also happen to have romance in them. They're usually tragic romances. Um, again, Fireworks is my favorite movie of all time. It's literally about a guy spending his as much time as he possibly can with his wife who's dying of leukemia. Sonatine has a little bit of romance in it. Uh, Dolls is a pinnacle of tragic romance because, you know, it has three different romance stories, all of which are tragic. I also do tend to like it when the romance has just drama in general. And again, it has to be well done. Because I don't really care about a lot of, like, especially with anime, there's a lot of, like, tropes with romance that I don't like. You know, like, the, the clum clumsy equals cute. I fucking hate that. You know, when the, when the character, like, falls on top of the girl character, um, and he, like, lands and grabs her boob. That's like a cliche that happens all the time, and I fucking hate it. But I do think that when done right, romance can add to a story. And most stories tend to have at least some romance elements in it. Even horror movies, to an extent, can have romance in them. There's usually a love interest character. You know, plenty of stories that aren't romances have romance in them so it's like I'm not against it it just has to be well done um but I guess that's really my thoughts on that kind of uh rambled around there a little bit um but yeah there we go four videos today boys uh hopefully that's not too annoying uh and uh, hopefully you feel spoiled in a good way this has been Fugitive Red I have a good one take forever to say nothing what the fuck